Wouldn't you know it, just as I was about to start recording, my three-year-old daughter decides it's time to play the guitar. So she's strumming away there, innocently uh, playing away, which is great, but um, always the way. i uh, got a little video for you now on correcting uh, the white balance in photos. So removing color cast, that kind of thing. You can see this image here. It's got a bit of a kind of green color cast. It's, it's, a, very, <laughs> it's a pretty bad it bad photo just from a family do I, I pulled it out noticed that it had a bit of a um, color cast on it um, I I just came across another technique in relation to doing this the other day I just I just want to show you that as well and just have a look at a couple of different ways to do that the best way like the quickest and easiest way to do it all right so in this um, technique what they did was um, duplicated the background layer so I'm just down here in my layers pal press command J or control J on the Mac I've got this layer selected, just going to come up to filter, blur, and then select average. And that averages out the uh, pixels in the image there, gives us kind of our color cast. And if you know much about color, what with color cast, what you need to do is get the opposing color and add more of that uh, to the image to remove and sort of neutralize the uh, color cast. So what we're going to do now is press command I to uh, invert that. And on the PC, that's control I as well. Uh, now we're going to change our blending mode here to color and you'll see that'll give us kind of a tint to it uh, so it's given that the inverse color as a tint and then all we do here is scale back the opacity um, and you can scale it back till uh, it visually appears as though the color cast is gone so in this case you know say 15% we can look at before after very subtle but um, it is uh, slightly gone. The only downside with this technique I've noticed is that uh, it doesn't work on all types of images. Uh, what will happen is you, you get kind of a, a bit of a washout look with it as well. So you need to make some other adjustments with it. Um, let's have a look at another technique. I'll just duplicate the background layer again as well. Um, what th This is actually probably more one of my favorites. Um, if we come up here to color balance, um, We've got our color sliders here in our in our adjustment section here. All color casts have a definite tint. So in this one here, you can see it's sort of got like a greeny tint over it. And if you go in our color balance section here, we've got our shadows, midtones, and highlights. Start on your midtones. Um, you can see it's got too much green. So what we need to do is increase the magenta. So all we do is slide our slider here to the left. And you can see that's neutralized it very quickly and easily. Um, and that's probably a great job, like that's good enough. We could go into our shadows and just to have a quick um, touch on that. And you can see here in the shadow area down here on the path, I'll just zero that back. You can see it's got kind of a green tint there. If I just slide that across, you see, look at that, beautiful. Um, don't want to go too far though, uh, as it was starting to get a bit of a magenta tint there in the path back there. But if we have a look at our uh, before and after there, that's our before and that's our after. I think personally that that method is much better, much more efficient um, to use. Just one more go with um, another technique. Let me use a different image. Uh, try this one here. I'll just delete these layers here I was, I was messing around with. Um, so if we duplicate the background layer uh, and let, let's do our color balance trick again. You can see this one here has got too much blue, like it's just way, way over in the on the blue side of things. So sort of cyans and the blues, um, probably almost more cyan. So we'll just increase the reds uh, a bit there in our mid-tones. Let's go into our highlights, uh, same thing. Um, and touch up out. Okay, so that's starting to come along pretty good now. And let's have a look here. There we go. All right, so that's starting to look pretty good. Um, let's have a look at our before and after. That's our before, that's our after. Um, not bad, uh, pretty good. I just actually pinched this image off the net, so um, you, you won't find this as a downloadable file or anything. Um, just Google image something with a color cast. Anyway, this came up. Um, Another, sorry for talking fast as well. I'm, I'm kind of a little excited uh, because these techniques are just so easy um, and, and great to get really good results fast. And I'll just take you back to one of the old faithfuls and that's in the uh, image menu adjustments, come down to match color. 
and it brings up the match color dialog box here. Click on neutralize, and 99% of the time it does a pretty good job. Um, and you can, you know, you can sort of mess around with the uh, sliders a little here as well. Or if it's too strong, the neutralizing, you can um, fade it in. You know, fade in the. It's just kind of like reducing your opacity with the fade there. Uh, click on OK. Um, so that's that one. Or let's have a look at. Uh, if, I suppose the other thing you can do is do that and then combine it with a color balance uh, shift as well, like I've done there, the color balance correction. And that gives you quite quite a nice vibrant looking image now. If we look at our before shot, before it's kind of flat, a bit washed out, also very blue. And then after, it looks hot. So I hope you enjoy that video. Um, have a fantastic day. If you have any ideas or suggestions or um, concerns or whatever in relation to color correcting and uh, neutralizing um, color casts, please let me know. More than happy to help you out. Have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon.